Clovers is actually doing really well. Um, we are uh, profitable, which is unusual for us. Um, and we are, it's interesting, we have three lines of business. We have the crossover business, which at this point is now predominantly Mac. So we mostly sell to Mac users. And what's interesting about that business is it's all long-end stuff. It's not, like it's not running one application. They want to run every application. So we're right now in the business of making wine run every application on the Mac. But that business is actually declining. We're, we're and it's hard to say why, but it's kind of got a steady tail down. Um, we have a second business, which is the, we call it our OEM business, where we help port um, applications to Mac or Linux. Um, and we've been doing quite a lot of that lately, and that business has been growing, and its growth has accelerated lately, and we're excited at the exit of Transgaming from this market, because we hope this will allow us to accelerate it even more. Did, um, are they out now? Yes. So NVIDIA bought Transgaming's porting group. When was that? A couple months ago. Okay. So this is, so we're celebrating that tonight. So we're drinking <laughs> champagne tonight, right? Sorry, what? We're drinking champagne tonight, and yes, you're paying. Yes, <laughs> you promised that. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, so, and so that's been very positive for us, and we're very excited about that. That's actually, so the long story is, when I started this initiative 16 years ago, um, my business plan that I raised money on was all about porting software. So we have now, 16 years later, come back and have started executing on the business plan that I sold people all those years ago. Um, but our third line of business is, is interestingly not really wine related. We have a very large customer who we do provide some wine services to, but we've also been providing them with a lot of other services. Um, and that's been sort of my midlife crisis. It's been very fun for me. I've been doing a lot of development work in a tree where they, I have commit access to the tree. And that business has been very profitable for us as well. So to some extent, you know, it, part of our success is not just Sadly, I would love to tell you that all of our success is due to wine, but we have other engines that are keeping us afloat, which is nice. Um, and then the, the exciting thing, I think, well, you didn't do a demo, but you should talk to Josh or someone else. So we're trying to grow our business in a, a number of ways, and one of those is Android. So we are getting ready to release <coughs> wine for Android, crossover for Android. Our main challenge there is we haven't figured out how to make money on it yet. Because <laughs> it's like this really cool toy, but y it, you, it, like, you don't have a keyboard or a mouse, and it kind of like, oh, that's cool, I can run my Windows app on my tablet, and then you run your Windows app on your tablet, and you're like, why would I want to do that? <laughs> so, uh, but it's cool. So that's, a, that's big news, and I, and I hope we'll have that out at the end of the year, and I hope we figure out some way to make a ton of money off of it. And, um, and we are hoping that the Chinese government will make good on their uh, their threat to convert all of their machines from Windows to Linux. Now, we're not sure that they're going to, but if they do, we think it would be really exciting for Wine, because Wine would be a really good tool. Yeah, but will you make money out of it? Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> it would still be cool, right? right. <laughs> we'll sell one copy of China. We'll sell <laughs> <laughs> So that's, those are kind of our opportunities we are looking forward to. Um, does that is that enough of an update? Does that answer? Does anyone else have any questions or? DirectX 11. Um, I'm sorry, what? DirectX 11. DirectX 11. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so another part of my midlife crisis is I have given a lot of responsibility to James Ramey, our president, who um, doesn't have quite the technical precision that some of us do in making our announcements. So he. So one day Henri slipped. He must have had drinks or something, and he said that it was conceivable that DirectX 11 would ship in the next century, and James translated that in a somewhat more optimistic way. But it is, I mean, like, we're confident that the number of months until DirectX 11 is done would fit in a 32-bit sign, right? So we actually have somebody working on it. And we have people working on it, yeah, Joseph and Henri and so. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I shouldn't make you ask for a guesstimate, but it's some number of months away. Um, DirectX 11. Oh, and I, and I should also say just... 
relevant to wine staging, just in the, the crossover tree difference, I'm not, we've articulated this in the past, but I want to articulate it now. The code weaver's policy is that every change we do to wine is to go to wine first. And if we, and, 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 and absolutely only if we cannot get it in upstream wine does it go into crossover. And we have found having things in the crossover tree is hideous and horrible. We do not enjoy it. Um, and we, I think most of our stuff is relatively legacy. We don't have that many things that... CSMP. <laughs> yes. That, and that's a painful one for us. Because we would really like that to be in wine. And it, it's complicated. Um, <laughs> but, but understand that, we, that, 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 is not, that that is not out of wine through any evil design of ours, right? Like that's, we would really rather that was in wine. That's how we operate. It's a lot nicer for us. We get free QA and free work from the wine community. It's nice, right? It's like I get to take advantage of you. I buy you dinner once a year. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Code Weaver's update? All right. And that's why dinner is on us tonight. That's our, in the work group. Let's see, that's what the wine party fund. Oh, you want me to put that back? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you just want me to put it up here? Great, so now it's recorded. I don't uh, know. Actually, I, I have to destroy it. <laughs> you can destroy you it. Can, you can keep it in the back. Because the, the text is noise. The desk is noise, so it's not on the projector. Yeah. But this is noisy too. That's, yeah, when the fan's on, that'll be really noisy. When the fan is on, this is very noisy. I Come up there. <laughs> Jeremy, can I ask a question to clarify something? I'm sorry, about, go ahead. About the status of the Android port. What is the progress, so what is the state of the port at this point? Can it, you share some details? It's actually nearly done. Uh, well, nearly done for a very generous. <laughs> 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 it was nearly done uh, uh, also, so, uh, until our presentation. So, uh, <laughs> so our plan is to release a free download to the world called the uh, Crossover Android Development Preview. We haven't named it yet. We did name it. Preview. Technology Preview. Technology Preview. So we are going to release a thing called the Technology Preview in a small number of months. Like oh oh uh, yeah. Like like <laughs> easily that could fit in four digit you know, number. A four digit <laughs> number. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and maybe even in only two bits, conceivably. <laughs> Actually, uh, the uh, question would be, when uh, will, will you start sending patches, or will we see something? Um, we've, I think I understand that that's, the separation is ready to go, right? So we've got... Yeah, I want to upstream it, and I think that... Yeah, but we marketing people want to get the thunder I, before... Right, 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 exactly. So I think as soon as it's... So as soon right, as we ship the technology it, preview, right. then the patches go to one. Yeah. And is this going to happen this year or next? The plan is this year. We're, we're going to assess it on October 1, and the thinking is it's pretty close to ready, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. We had a barrier where it wasn't working on Lollipop, and now Alexander's fixed that, so yeah. it's mostly ready to go. And remember, this is Android Intel, right? Not ARM. I mean, we have something that kind of does it on ARM, but it's so unsatisfying. So it's not ARM. Well, it, it is ARM, but you have to have an ARM binary, right? So you port your app, right? I mean. Yeah, but uh, the, the still issues with the QM or uh, yeah, you know, we can do user, with QM user. And, and, and Spaceward Ho works really well in QMU on an ARM tablet. Yes. No QM user. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. The user mode. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 that works. But you with it. We, we, we can do that, yes. But we're, I think we're choosing not to because the performance is so very unsatisfying that it's, it, there's a small number of applications that work well in QM, and most things are very unsatisfying in QM, is what we have found. Um, and it's very fiddly and very complicated, so if we simplify the story and say Intel only, we can deliver a better result. That's our thinking. Like I said, Making money on this is hard because everyone wants it on Android Arm, right? And an Android Arm works for crap. <laughs> so that's that's our challenge, right? But we're gonna try this in a couple months. A couple three? Soon. Yeah, it should be soon. 
And I don't know that there's a lot of real wine difference for the QMU stuff. I mean, it, it, it might, if, if the wine community, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to speak for co readers, but it could be that if the wine community wants to run stuff on ARM, it can. It's just very, very slow. I don't know that it would be worth that, that we will release it in that fashion because it's so. I thought that well, that was the driver, the, the discipline driver. Yeah, that's yes. the part that will be yeah, released. Part, I mean, we have QMU and yeah, it works. It's a it's a ten line hack to yeah. the wine code to make it so QMU and it works fine. Except you don't get OpenGL. Okay. Because on an ARM device you don't have Intel OpenGL drivers. Because the drivers run in the application address space. So if it's an Intel binary, you need an Intel driver, and you don't get that on an ARM device. So, so my, my hacky idea is that we could abuse the command stream to switch to, to talk to some ARM process, but right now I never I didn't ever look into that. Right. There was a guy on IRC uh, having a hack for wine to recompile, uh, dynamically recompile um, the Intel binaries to run them on ARM. And, and he said it was quite fast and I asked him for some Source code for it, but uh, he was like, no. <laughs> so, but uh, also there was this other company uh, doing, uh, sending out this uh, emulator uh, and bundled it also with wine, I think. You mean XRG? Yes, XRG. Yeah, I yeah, you try it out. Yeah, yeah I tried it out for like 20 or something like this at the beginning. And there yeah, is, compared to QM, it's really much, much faster. But you can easily see that they optimized it for some of the applications. So on the same benchmark, they use it very much faster than some other applications. And it was also had also bugs at the beginning. Some uh, CPU emulation structure were implemented. I talked with the CEO of the company about some of the bugs and also created some patches and while stating to work around some of the limitations of the uh, emulator. But yeah, it's still not so fast that you can really use it for big applications, but to some extent uh, you can even play some games with it, some very simple games, but uh, so it's much better than QM, but I think for the most users it will be still unsatisfying if their mobile phones or tablets have not the greatest and best performance. <laughs> so yeah. But maybe you can team up with them and work on it. We actually we did. We did. We worked with them and okay. they sent us a copy of the binary and it never worked proper. The emulator is buggy. We never get it work uh, okay. for the applications we try. Uh, one more question. Uh, can you approximately or roughly say how much uh, of the amount of these patches that uh, we are talking about, uh, how, how much of the new code you have to write or fix in line you might be trying to run in a, on Android? So how large is uh, we going to uh, it's not large. At this point, it's only the Android uh, graphics driver. Everything else is already in one. So it's basically just a graphics driver? Yes, yes. All the rest is in one. You can actually build one for Android today. It works fine. You just don't get the Android driver. You get the uh, what about sound? Sound. I don't think we merge sound. We have a sound driver. Yeah. We need uh, to merge yeah. that. And the graphics driver. That, that's basically all of it. And the gamepad driver got rejected, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the and and there's, of course, a, a portion of Java code. Really. Yeah, because uh, the graphics driver C code, talking to some native Android. Java application. Yes. So, will there be a, a simple example of this Java application after the wine source tree? Or? That's the plan. We have a, a wine class, Java class, that is planned to be released that you can. That we can start by using for crossover. We derive from the wine class to create a crossover class and the crossover on top of that. But there's the, there's the wine class. Uh, I don't know yet how it's going to be built. It's part of the tree. Uh, uh. So we can start writing the uh, uh, wine code in Java then, right? <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to beat this. <laughs> Any other questions? Should we have an Android demo session at some point? 
Yeah, I'll do that. I feel like it's not right now, but tomorrow. <laughs> Anybody who wants to see, I mean, it's right here, so I'll show you. 